okay dear students in yesterday class we read about cathode ray tube experiment and millikan oil drop experiment and anode ray tube experiment and the comparison between three subatomic particles they are electron proton neutron if you didn't see this video then i'll keep in the cards once you have to see and as well as i'll give link in the description once you have to see then you will get clarity without seeing that video this video you, you are unable to understand okay up to now we read about atom like uh, atom is uh, indivisible but from atom three subatomic particles uh, released what are they electron proton neutron so now atom is uh, divisible remember this point from yesterday's class we got clarity like uh, inside the atom there are three subatomic particles they are electron proton neutron now here problem is what is the exact position of electron proton neutron inside the atom that is the problem for example one person is there in the room but what is the exact position of that person whether in the middle of the room or corner of the room or this side or that side we have to know that is the problem here okay now we have to know the position of electron in the atom the position of proton in the atom the position of neutron in the atom to overcome this problem scientists developed five theories that five theories are called theories of atomic structure they are first one is jj thomson atomic model second one is rutherford alpha particle scattering experiment third one is niels bohr atomic structure fourth one is sommerfeld bohr extension theory fifth one is quantum mechanical model of an atom it is also called schrodinger wave equation now let me discuss one one theory clearly first one let me start first theory that is j thomson atomic theory okay j thomson atomic model j thomson proposed that atom is in a spherical shape and the radius of atom is approximately 10 power of minus 10 meters in which positive charge is uniformly distributed and j thomson compared his theory with watermelon so his theory is also called watermelon theory and plum pudding model and rise in pudding model okay dear students now let us discuss the diagram of j thomson theory it is called watermelon now he compared his theory with watermelon in the watermelon the red part he compared with protons and the black seeds he compared with electrons so in the atom like this only electrons protons existed like that he proposed his theory why he is not saying about neutrons do you know because neutrons still were not discovered neutrons were discovered at the last of this all theories in 1932 by james chadwick here the wonder is electrons were discovered by j j thomson his student was discovered the protons his name is rutherford his student were discovered the neutrons his name is james chadwick okay now let me discuss the limitations of j j thomson theory in this theory the main drawback is he unable to explain the stability of atom he told in the atom electrons embedded as like watermelon black seeds and the red part he compared with protons it means the red part in the watermelon is higher than the black seeds in the watermelon so what is the clarity here in the atom the number of electrons is less than the number of protons it means protons are more than the 
electrons so according to this for example once you have to imagine there are 500 protons and 50 electrons 50 electrons in this 50 negative charges can neutralize the 50 positive charges then 50 50 50 50 these two neutralized then how many positive charges remained still 450 positive charges remained I mean protons remained so because of this protons the total atom now acquiring positive charge positive charge but we know very well atom is electrically neutral it doesn't have any positive charge any negative charge so according to that rule J. Thompson theory failed have you understood so J. Thompson he didn't explain the stability of atom okay dear students this is today's class thank you all the very best